In this video, we're gonna talk about dating rules. You know, the ones that everyone hates to follow? Yes, dating rules can suck, but I'm gonna tell you the two reasons why you need them, especially when you meet someone that you really like. So don't go anywhere, we're starting in three seconds. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Antonio Barolo. Welcome to another video. This channel is all about helping you build great relationships so you can grow happy with the people you love. So, if you're interested in making your love life the best part of your life, start now by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell notification so you aren't missing anything. Okay, on to the dating rules. So what are these dating rules and why do people even follow them? I mean, I have some too, but where did they come from? Well, the whole concept of dating rules started with the 1995 release of The Rules, Time-Tested Secrets for Capturing the Heart of Mr. Right by Alan Fien and Sherry Schneider. And it's been updated since then. And yes, the book is a classic and it was a bestseller and created the whole dating advice industry as well as a lot of controversy. Basically, the book suggests rules that a woman should follow in order to attract and marry the man of her dreams. In a nutshell, following the rules means that women should not aggressively pursue men, but rather they should get the men to pursue them. The book encourages women to be easy to be with, but hard to get. And it tells you things like to never initiate texting or calling, or to limit the amount you share and limit the amount of time you talk on a date. Oh, and never ever accept a last minute date. It even goes so far as to suggest how long you should wait before responding to a text or phone call. It really gets that detailed and ridiculous. But do these rules work? Well, yes, they can work, but are they a good idea? Not necessarily. I mean, some dating rules like mine are okay, but I have two main issues with any dating rules that prevent you from being yourself, and here's why. First, if you aren't yourself on the first few dates or if you're on your best behavior, what's the other person gonna think when you finally start acting like yourself later down the road? Furthermore, it's not easy having to develop and maintain a simulated personality for a prolonged period of time. I mean, we're talking about months and months. And are you supposed to use the rules until you're married? If so, what if he doesn't like the real you afterwards? I mean, you're acting and not being yourself because you have to follow these rules. And the second reason? Following strict dating rules like the ones I just mentioned have the potential of turning the dating scene into one giant masked ball where everybody tries to outguess or outsmart everyone else. And whoever believes what he or she sees is being played. Think about it, the cost and pain and disappointment can be significant for those who become involved in this kind of drama. So yeah, strict dating rules that encourage you to engage in very specific behaviors or prevent you from engaging in things that you want to do are not recommended. Having said that, I do believe, like most things in life, an amazing relationship is also based on some principles and rules. And following these rules will put you on the path to developing a healthy and loving relationship. And these rules are especially important when you meet a person you really like because they save you from the craziness associated with falling in love. So they help you to pace the relationship, keep your standards high, and not allow you to compromise your values. So the first reason why you need dating rules are to protect you from yourself. Because when you really like someone and you're falling in love, it's hard to control that obsessive and addictive desire to be with that person. I'm sure you can relate. I know I've been there and done that. Having some dating rules can serve as a reminder to not dive in too soon where you're seeing the other person every single day and forgetting about your other relationships and passions and commitments. This is something that's hard to do when you're excited about someone. I mean, you want to talk to them or be with them all the time. And that's because of what happens to your brain when you fall in love. See, romantic love is very much a natural addiction. When we're in love with a person, we are chemically addicted to that person. In fact, falling in love has similar effects on the brain as cocaine does on the brains of a user. So when we are falling in love, we experience the same types of cravings and yearnings that an addict feels when they're addicted to a substance. Falling in love causes your body to release a flood of feel-good hormones and neurotransmitters that trigger specific physical reactions. Researchers have studied the brains of people falling in love using functional MRI scans. And these scans show that falling in love activates pleasure centers in the brain and these pleasure centers light up dramatically when you're falling in love. I mean, blood flow increases in this area and it's the same part of the brain that's implicated in obsessive compulsive behaviors. So essentially, you become obsessed with this person. And this may explain why it's hard to concentrate and we find ourselves thinking about our new love all day long during the early stages of a relationship. Before I tell you the second reason why dating rules are important, 
I'd love to know your thoughts on the rules book or other dating rules. Have you practiced any of these rules? And would you like to see a video where I explain my top three dating rules? Leave a message in the comment section below and let me know. Okay, the second reason for needing dating rules is that they protect you from dating people who are bad for you. So basically, when we become intoxicated by these feel-good hormones, the parts of our brain responsible for making critical assessments of other people shuts down. Perhaps that's responsible for many bad decisions or missing the obvious red flags that everyone else sees. And trust me, early warning signs or red flags are always there. When we reflect on past relationships after the fact, we're able to recognize early warning signs and red flags or behaviors that expose some undisclosed or hidden aspect of their personality, attitudes, and intentions. But dating rules give us standards and expectations of what is acceptable and what is not. The rules can help keep us accountable. For example, rules prevent you from continuing to date people who are not really into you and guys who are giving you mixed messages. Mixed message guys are the ones who continue to text you or randomly see you from time to time, but always have an excuse as to why they can't see you or why they can't be in a relationship. If you hold yourself to standards and expectations or rules, you certainly won't tolerate anyone who treats you poorly or disrespects you. Remember, if a man likes you, he will find the time or he'll make the time to see you. And while these red flags may be obvious to outsiders, they're often overlooked for a number of reasons. Sometimes couples are blinded by the excitement of love. Others hide in denial and minimize the severity of the behavior and believe that they can tolerate it. And this goes back to needing some dating rules up front to protect you from people who are bad for you. See, we all have amazing intuition, gut feelings, and we usually know when something or someone is bad for us. We have this feeling inside or this voice in our head pointing out the red flag or telling you that something isn't right. But too often people choose to ignore their intuition or they think that they can cope with a particular behavior or believe that a person will change. Dating rules will help you to avoid this. By the way, if you're interested in knowing if a person is falling in love with you, click here to watch this video. Or if you're worried that the guy you're dating is just not that into you, click here to watch this video. I'll see you in the next one.